Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Hello, my friend. Wake up, wake up. It's match day. <laughs> Listen, it's already Saturday somewhere around the world in Australia or something. So if you watch this video on Friday night, don't be surprised because some part of the world, it's already saturday that means it's match day so don't forget to join us on soccer iq this is the new channel that we are trying to push yeah soccer iq we are live over there every single day uh many many times a day by the way the telephone is always open for everybody to call us and have a say so join us early tomorrow morning for the pre-game show for watch along and all the good stuff the link is gonna be in the description down below don't forget to like subscribe share also for this video all right my people so liverpool against chelsea football club mo salah one of us the guy that we rejected to go and buy quadrado and <laughs> look at him today world class can you imagine if we were a little bit patient and give him a couple more seasons, probably we were not going to be in the nightmare that we are today. Same like the Bruna. So yeah, Mo Salah always likes to, to score against Chelsea Football Club. And he, he celebrates, you know, he started celebrating since Chelsea fans, uh, you know, they were chanting some, some Mo Salah uh, horrible horrible song against Mo Salah. So since then, he started celebrating. Every time he scores against Chelsea Football Club, he's going he's gonna to show the, the praying sign or he's going to celebrate like never before because of that uh, disrespect. But hello, Mo Salah. I hope that you flopped on Saturday, my friends, because we, <laughs> we have to win. We, we, we need a win at any cost, really. Hey, my pity, my pity, my pity, no hate. Put the chop on the nigga, turn to a sprinter. Hey, bitches on my dick, but I'm giving you one minute. All right, my people. So I am going to remind you what my lineup is going to be like. You don't have to agree with me. It's just a simple opinion. The end of the day, it's not you, it's not me, it's uh, Graham Porter who is going to make decisions about who is in and who is out. So don't waste your time on insulting people here or asking questions like, why are you putting this? Why are you doing this? You can also give just your opinion, just like I gave mine, all right? Kepa Arisabalaga, I think he's going to be in goal because Slonina apparently is... Um, is going to be with uh, the U.S. national team in the youth level. Andrew Santos also is playing with Brazil at the moment. Uh, he scored even a goal. Captain material, you know, uh, for, for with Brazil. So Kepa Arisabalaga is going to be in goal for sure. Uh, I'm going to put Lewis Hall. I don't have to explain myself. The last time he was holding his hamstring... So I hope he's fit. Uh, Graham Porter didn't say anything about him. He just praised how he'd been good. He'd been, you know, keeping Mark Kukurea out of the team and all that. Badia Shield for sure, 100%. Thiago Silva there. I'll go with Chaluba from the right-hand side because Rhys James, the boss said that he started training, but he's not ready to play games. So we have to understand that. No Rhys James. So put me... Uh, this uh, this guy here, uh, my own brother, Chaluba, because he can at least defend and he still has the pass and can tackle. Probably not very good from here and crossing balls, but sometimes when he drives a little bit and he enter a little bit in the midfield, he can have a powerful shot and, and score. So Chaluba for me all day long. Or if we play three at the back, right? 
and if the manager decide to go three at the back, no chaluba for me. I will put somebody that people hate. It's gonna be Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Every time he played as a wing back, he performed to the next level. Everybody knows about it. I don't have to explain myself, but there are certain people who will prefer even play nine against eleven if that means the people that they hate are not gonna be there. That's how we how we are very very uh divided in the chelsea community if you don't like Manson mount he they will prefer not to score goals not to win not anything if that means Manson mount is out of the team but i don't care i'm here to unite people i'm a chelsea fans to begin with you know all the players are gonna come and go but i will stay here forever so it is what it is um Manson mount and this guy here, Kovacic in the midfield. Three behind Aubameyang is going to be Modric. And play Kai Havert uh, in a free roll there. And also the magician Hakim Ziyech from this position here. Aubameyang is a solo target man. I want to see how it's going to work between Modric providing, you know, beating people, beating Triant, Alexander Arnold and, you know, um, and passing the ball to Aubameyang and crossing. He's very good on crossing. I, I want to see. Aubameyang, you can make whatever theory you want. But like I said, man, if every single game when somebody is poor, get rid of him. Get rid of him. He's not going to be fine. Look at how he did last game. Listen, just because you've been poor in five games doesn't doesn't mean that you're going to be poor in, in the other game. This is not like video games or something this is reality on your day you can you can play a very good game of football and uh, yeah we shouldn't be you know judging players based on 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 the last game uh yeah i talked about hakim ziyech and i talked about uh, obamiyang now it's your turn to get in the comment do not insult anybody this is just my choice listen the boss Grand Pora is not even going to listen to me. The next thing you know tomorrow is Chaluba is not there. It's going to put a captain Aspiliqueta there because one of the captains need to be there or both of them. You know, Jorginho is going to be there and you will see Kovacic, probably Kovacic out and Jorginho in. And we know how we're going to be playing already 10 against 11 because... Imagine the pressure that they're going to put on us. Look at their midfield, Thiago Alcantara, and you have Fabino. And in the midfield, you 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 put Jorginho. Come on, man. Come on. I, I don't know why people don't see that, but I'm, I'm sick and tired of talking about this, brother. But this is what's going to happen. It's going to be Jorginho, and it's going to be probably Kovacic, both here. The people who don't who do nothing in the in the final third, and it's gonna be probably Aubameyang on the bench, and it's gonna be Kai Havert himself from there. The way I heard him saying, I think Modric might be out in the first half. It might be Gallagher or something like that, and Modric to come on in the second half. I don't mind because he hasn't played a lot of football lately. So even he, even he, if he comes in the second half, I think he can give them uh, some <laughs> some trouble. You know, imagine when Trent Alexander Arnold is tired and Modric is coming on. It's gonna be a nightmare, right? So listen, man. Like I said, if he listened to me and uh, and and use and. I'm also suspecting that Kukurea is going to start. Instead of, of, of Hal, I think he's going to start Kukurea. So, yeah, it is what it is, my people. If he listened to me and, and use my formation, you know, use the people that I suggested, we're going to win 2 0. Yeah, we're going to win 2 0 away. And we might lose it if. The guy doesn't listen to people. If he plays Aspiliqueta and Jorginho in the same, you know, the starting 11, you know already that here you have zero from the, from the midfield. And here you have Nightmare because he can't defend anymore. He can't put tackles anymore. He's very slow. 
lost a yard or two. And Aspilicueta, why? Why are we doing this to ourselves? So if he doesn't use my formation and my starting 11, you have to expect us to lose 2-1 tomorrow. But I'm very confident that we are winning 2-0. Let's uh, get in the comment section down below and uh, and discuss.